Hey, it's Angie with News OK. I'm here at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art with a new exhibit called Photorealism Revisited, which is beautiful. It's absolutely amazing. Jennifer can tell us all about this. These paintings look like photos, but they're actual paintings. It is incredible. Tell me what people can expect when they come to uh, see this exhibit. Well, our visitors are going to love to come learn about photorealism. We have over 63 paintings that are rendered in a very detailed, highly realistic style. These artists have all engaged the medium of photography by using the camera and all of the advancements with technology to capture great detail. So what you'll see is a wide variety of subject matter. We have urban landscapes, rural landscapes, images of popular culture, portraiture. And so what they're doing is looking at everyday life and going out and whether they're taking photographs, they may be looking at vintage photographs, they may be taking multiple photographs to create uh, multiple perspectives within one photograph. They then transfer those photographs to the canvas, either by a grid system or a projector or even hand drawing from a photograph. So there still is a level of true interpretation and virtuosity that these artists must have to create such highly detailed paintings. I know, I know. It's amazing how they can get the light right and the reflections and all of that. It's absolutely breathtaking and incredible. There are two Oklahoma artists, some People may be familiar with Charles Bell, who was one of the pioneers of the creation of photorealism in the late 1960s. He was part of capturing this idea of vintage toys and referencing pop art of the period at the time. And also another artist, Dennis Martin, who worked in metal point, a very unique technique that actually originated back in the Renaissance, but then creating a, a new realistic form of portraiture. So he had actually lived here in Oklahoma City as well. Photorealism is really the merging of two great ideas in the late 1960s, two advancements, photography and also the popularity of realism. Throughout the 20th century, we see many art movements, abstract expressionism being the predominant mid-century uh, movement where you're looking at non-objective art. But here, artists turn back to realism. And realism has been a part of art for a very long time. But what they're doing is looking at realism, but by utilizing photography. And photography captures the great detail that even the human eye cannot capture. Oh, it's absolutely impressive. Um, and then tell us how long this exhibit runs. This exhibition runs through April 21st, and we have lots of programming for our visitors to take advantage of. So please check our website. You can see such a variety, obviously, from uh, the human body to automobiles. Automobiles were a popular subject matter for photorealists because the history of the automobile goes hand in hand with the history of the 20, 20th century in America. And so what you'll see is they're capturing all this great dynamic detail in the design of cars that is then rendered on the canvas. So you'll see those shiny chrome surfaces and those reflective lights and the smoothness of, of what we see in even car design. So all of that is then captured on these canvases, whether they're on board or actual canvas themselves or paper, but lots of identifiable artists such as Bechtel, who's is famous for California street scenes with the 68 Cadillac, and also Cheryl Kelly, who really grew up playing with Hot Wheels cars in <laughs> Texas, and then has really chosen cars to, and automobiles as her dominant subject matter. And she truly brings a whole new life and a whole meaning to focusing on cars as symbols of culture and not only masculinity and, and femininity and life itself. Yeah, man, I, I don't know which one is my favorite. There, There's such a variety here, like she was saying, from portraits to landscapes to city life. It's absolutely impressive. And I love, uh, like you said, the automobiles are so interesting. Um, so for more information, watch your website. Please visit our website at okcmoa.com and also Facebook and Twitter. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you.